Good morning and happy 4th of July, everybody. Check this place out. We are at the Kenai River today and I am excited to bring you guys another Kenai River sockeye salmon fishing update. We're gonna check this place out. If you guys have been following along to my channel, you know right where I'm at this morning, down here. It's looking pretty out. Light, light rain, light rain about 65 degrees and uh, no people yet. It's about uh, 7.30 in the morning. So I don't expect people to really be getting up uh, too early today, but it is a Monday and it is a holiday but it is a great day to go fishing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test this water here, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's in it. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're rigging up with. And we're gonna show you guys a couple techniques on flipping out there and uh, trying to hook into those sockeye salmon. And uh, if you guys are interested in seeing any of that, stay tuned and let's go to the fishing hole, come on. Okay, we made it down you guys. We are officially at College Hole and the water level has risen. Um, it's about two feet deeper here since I filmed my last video. And if you guys haven't seen that video, um, this one right here, if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. You guys could get a little bit more info about this spot down here. But uh, uh, just be aware, the water level is quite a bit higher and try and show you guys that last time I was here if you guys can remember oh, that whole gravel bar right there right there was visible and now now it's completely underwater so when you guys come down here don't touch those islands those islands that have those signs on them like that sign right there don't go on those. The fishing game will find you. And uh, they're watching out. They're out here on boats, watching the riverbanks, protecting them, and uh, making sure it stays nice for a long time for everybody. So um, just respect that. And we're gonna go ahead and try to flip out for some sockeye. Uh, this spot's notoriously good for filling up first. Um, you gotta be down here and you gotta have your hook in the water if you guys wanna catch some fish. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's go get hooked up. All right, guys, you just saw me lose that sockeye salmon. It was right in the mouth. Um, coincidentally, um, I am fishing with an egg sucking leech right now and it actually bent the tip. It actually bent the tip of my hook out and I lost the fish at the net. Um, sometimes you need to play them out a little bit harder and also if you have a net man it helps so you can keep your line tight when they come in but it was probably about eight pounds in super chrome these fish are as fresh as they get 
For this area here, we saw two sockeye roll, and then we had the one on that we lost at the net. Um, but fair fishing, I'd say, fair fishing. I got the only hook in the water, so it's hard to see how many fish are in there, but no way of telling. But I'll take you guys down to that picnic bench down there and see if there's any piled up against that bank. All right, guys, that right there is gonna conclude the trip. Uh, came down here to test these waters. And you know what? I, I know these fish are showing up. I've seen about six roll right out here in front of the picnic table. Um, they were out in the middle though. So they're a little bit further out and it makes it a little bit more difficult to reach them when you're flipping like this. And um, I think that as the week goes on, this whole place is probably just gonna keep filling up like that. Um, so we had the one fish on, saw several roll, no rainbows today. And it was still a beautiful day out here on the water. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of an update. And I'll bring you guys back out here next time.